October 26. Today we remember the holy, glorious, great martyr Demetrius of Thessalonica, the myrrh gusher. Saint Demetrius suffered in Thessalonica during the reign of Galerius Maximian, approximately in 306. He belonged to one of the most distinguished families of the province of Macedonia and was widely admired not only because of his noble ancestry and grace of bearing, but also for virtue, wisdom and goodness of heart surpassing that of his elders. The military expertise of St. Demetrius led Galerius, as a Caesar of the Eastern Empire, to appoint him commander of the Roman forces in Thessaly and proconsul for Hellas. But for all this, Demetrius remained ever aware of the underlying realities of life. Since faith in Christ had touched his heart, all the glory of this world meant nothing to him, and there was nothing he preferred to teaching and preaching the word of God. Despite the persecution directed against Christians by the emperor, St. Demetrius brought a large number of pagans to the faith. His words convinced them because they saw in the righteousness, the peace and brotherly love that marked his life an illustration of the truth of which he spoke. The Emperor Maximian had just won a series of brilliant victories and was on his way to Rome when he halted at Thessalonica to receive the acclamation of the people and to offer sacrifices in thanksgiving to the idols. A number of pagans, envious of the success of St. Demetrius, took advantage of the emperor's presence in the city to denounce Demetrius as a Christian. Maximian's astonishment gave way to violent indignation when he gathered that Demetrius's fellowship with the disciples of Christ extended to making use of his official position to spread the faith. Demetrius was summoned and confined in a cell located in the basement of nearby baths. When Demetrius entered the cell, a scorpion approached his foot, poised to give him a fatal sting. The saint simply made the sign of the cross and the scorpion vanished. Then he was left alone in the humid, foul-smelling atmosphere. But he took no account of it, since he was full of joy at the thought of soon sharing completely in the life-giving passion of the Lord. He was only sorry at having to wait for the end of the celebration of the Emperor's triumph before he could fulfill his martyrdom. As was usual on those occasions, Maximian arranged for games and gladiator combats to take place in the city. He had brought with him a man of gigantic stature, called Liaios, a vandal by origin. Such was this man's strength and skill in single combat that no one could withstand him. There was in the city a young Christian called Nestor, who, observing the empty pride of the emperor in the victories of his champion, made up his mind to show him that real power belongs to Christ alone. He ran to the baths where Demetrius was imprisoned and asked for the protection of his prayer in going to confront the giant. The martyr made the sign of the cross on the brow and heart of the boy and sent the boy like David before Goliath. He reached the amphitheatre just as the heralds were crying out on all sides for any who would stand against the giant. Advancing towards the emperor, Nestor threw his tunic to the ground and he shouted, God of Demetrius, help me. In the first encounter, at the very moment the giant rushed upon him, Nestor slipped aside and stabbed him to the heart with his dagger. There was uproar and amazement of the marvel, and people asked themselves how a mere child, relying neither on strength nor weapons, could so suddenly have brought down the invincible barbarian. The fact is that Nestor 
placed his entire hope in the Lord, the master of the contest, he who delivers their enemies into the hands of the faithful. Rather than yield to this sign of the sovereign power of God, the emperor flew into a rage and ordered the immediate arrest of Nestor and his beheading outside the city. He had heard Nestor calling upon the god of Demetrius, and supposing the saint had used some kind of witchcraft, Maximian ordered his soldiers to go and thrust Demetrius through with their lances without trial in the depths of his prison cell. There were some Christians, including Demetrius's servant named Lupus, who were present at his martyrdom. And when the soldiers had gone, they reverently buried the saint's body. Lupus kept the blood-stained tunic of the martyr and, taking the royal ring from his finger, placed it on his own. By means of these two trophies, Lupus wrought many miracles and healings. But when Maximian got to hear of them, he immediately sent soldiers to behead the faithful servant. It was God's will that the grace with which he filled St. Demetrius should remain active even after his death. This is why he caused to flow from his body a myrrh with a delightful scent which had the property of healing all who took it as an unction with faith in the intercession of the saint. Time and again, during sixteen hundred years, Saint Demetrius has given proof of his benevolent care for the city of Thessalonica and its inhabitants. He has defended them from the attacks of barbarians, fighting for them on the ramparts. He has preserved them from plague and famine, healed the sick and comforted the afflicted. So many are his miracles that attempting to number them all would be as senseless as trying to count the grains of sand on the sea shore. Blessed is our God, always now for the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, O comforter of the spirit of truth, who art in all places and fill us all peace, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good ones. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, in the ages of ages. A great champion has the whole world found thee to be when in great perils. For thou dost put to flight the heathen, O victorious one. As thou didst humble Aeus' arrogance, and gave his boldness to Nestor in the stadium. Thus, O holy great martyr Demetrius, 
Do thou entreat, Christ God, that we be granted great mercy. Having traversed the depths of the Red Sea with dry shod feet, Israel of old vanquished the might of Amalek in the wilderness, by Moses' arm stretched out in the form of the cross. Holy great martyr Demetrius, pray to God for us. Arrayed with the divine crown of martyrdom, thou dra- dancest for joy round about God, shining with the lightning that proceeds from thence, and filled with enlightenment, O renowned martyr Demetrius. Holy great martyr Demetrius, pray to God for us. The Master has received thee as a martyr for the truth, that mightily contended even unto blood, and displayed staunch resistance in contest, O blessed one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast dashed to the ground the inventor of evil, and hast destroyed him with the spear of thy martyrdom, O blessed Demetrius, strengthened for this by the unfathomable power of divine goodness. Both now and forever to the ages of ages, amen. Formerly motherless according to his nature, God became like unto us from thee without a father, O all him Theotokos, receiving flesh in a union that surpasses speech and mind. The Church rejoices in thee, O Christ, crying aloud, Thou art my strength, O Lord, my refuge and my consolation. O holy great martyr Demetrius, pray to God for us. The command of the tyrants was set at naught by thee, for thou didst prefer the word of God above all things, O prize winner. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou art become a luminous lumpster in the tabernacle of martyrdom, shining with divine light, O prize-winning martyr Demetrius. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. The friend of man, healing his decayed likeness in mortals, was clothed therein from thee, O all-pure virgin, while remaining what he was. Being rich in the ways of true godliness, and destroying the error of godlessness, O martyr, thou trodest down all the tyrant's audacity, and thy mind being kindled with longing and love of God, thou didst sink the deceit of the idols in the abyss. Hence thou hast received a fit reward for thy labors, the grace to work miracles, and the poorest forth streams of cures, O prize winner Demetrius. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God, the King of the ages, thou do well didst please in refusing the will of a lawless king. For thou wouldst not sacrifice unto idols of wood and stone. For this cause thou didst offer thyself as a sacrifice to the sacrificed word by contesting most steadfastly. And pierced with a spear in thy blessed side, O all-famed one, thou healest the sufferings of those coming to thee with faith, O prize winner Demetrius. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them, that with longing keep thy holy memory, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From thy besetting and unbearable anger, Thou hast redeemed us, having mercy upon us, and showing us, O Christ, thy sea of love for man. Hence we now give thanks to thee, being taught by our chastening to forsake our evil ways which bring death down upon us. O Saviour, by thy mother's holy prayers, Look thou upon us, have mercy upon us all. 
Beholding thee lifted up upon the cross, O Son of Righteousness, the church stood rooted in place, crying out as his meat, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy great martyr Demetrius, pray to God for us. The almighty word of God, seeing thee victorious over the falsehood of impiety, crowned thee with glory, O Saint Demetrius, as thou didst chant, glory be to thy power, O Lord. O holy great martyr Demetrius, pray to God for us. Guided by the life-bearing hand, O Demetrius, thou hast reached those most serene heavens, where thou now cries out in gladness, glory be to thy power, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou had raised up the trophy of error, O Demetrius, thou didst receive the triumphal diadem of righteousness, crying unto thy Creator, Glory be to thy power, O Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou art more sacred than all created things, thou alone wast deemed worthy to become the mother of God, and in giving birth to him thou hast enlightened the world with the grace of divine knowledge. Thou hast come, O my Lord, as a light into the world, a holy light, turning from the darkness of ignorance those who hymn thee with faith. Holy great martyr Demetrius, pray to God for us. Since thou hast received the fire of divine love in thy heart, thou didst quench the fire of the godless madness of idols. O celebrated Demetrius, Holy great martyr Demetrius, pray to God for us. Show thyself, O Demetrius, by thy prayers delivering us from evils, and sheltering those who acclaim thee with faith and longing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. They that come with faith unto thy temple, O Demetrius, are straightway freed from sicknesses and soul-corrupting passions. Both now and forever, to the ages of ages, Amen. The Word of God, he who is consubstantial with the Father, beyond mind and word, becomes thy Son consubstantial with thee, O Mother of God, I will sacrifice to thee with a voice of praise, O Lord. The church cries unto thee, cleansed of the blood of demons by the blood, which for mercy's sake flowed from thy side. O holy great martyr Demetrius, pray to God for us. With one accord we gather to praise thy resplendent memorial, O all-blessed Demetrius, and the multitude of marvels, and gifts of the Holy and Worshipful Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By thine intercessions break the cords of my failings, for as an invincible martyr thou hast boldness with the Master, and be my refuge and my shelter, O Demetrius. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Finding thee as an undefiled and exceedingly pure flower, and lily of the valley, amidst thorns the bridegroom and word, dwelled in thy womb, O Mother of God. God, who has given the invincible strength, O Demetrius, has adorned the church with the royal breed purple of the streams of thy blood and has kept thy city unharmed, for thou art the support thereof. As we, the faithful, come together, let us honor this great saint with one accord as the man at arms and martyr of Christ, while crying with songs and hymns unto the Master and Creator of the world. Deliver us from the distress of earthquake, O friend of man, by the intercessions of the Theotokos and of all the holy martyrs, for in thee do we hope that we may be delivered from perils and afflictions, for thou art the support of us all. For thou art the support of us all. The children of Abraham in the Persian furnace, afire with love of piety more than with the flame, cried out, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord, O holy great martyr Demetrius, pray to God for us. 
Made bright with divine glory and grace, O prize-winning martyr, Thou shines as the light and enlightens them that cry, Blessed are thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Adorned with thy blood as with a purple mantle, and holding the cross in a scepter stead, thou now dost reign with Christ, O glorious Demetrius, crying out, Blessed are thou, my God and my Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O glorious and luminous Virgin Mother, preserve all that honour thee as a Theotokos in all truth, since thou art blessed among women, O Lady. Stretching forth his hands, Daniel shut the lion's mouths in the pit, and the young lovers of piety, girt about with virtue, quench the power of the fire, crying out, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Holy, great martyr Demetrius, pray to God for us. Girt with the indestructible power of Christ, that is cast into darkness all the madness and besetments of the enemy, and becoming a victor, O glorious martyr Demetrius, that is cry out, all ye works of the Lord, praise ye the Lord. Holy, great martyr Demetrius, pray to God for us. Displaying a martyr's firmness, thou didst receive the glory of the martyrs, O Demetrius, and pierced with a spear, thou wast washed with a holy labor, not defiled by after assaults of sins, crying out, O all ye works, praise ye the Lord. We bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The multitude of thy miracles manifests to all the unfathomable gift that Christ bestowed on thee, O glorious one. And the grace of healings given thee clearly proclaims to us thine inexpressible grace. And we cry out, O all ye works, praise ye the Lord. Both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us praise her that alone in all generations is the Virgin Mother and pure Theotokos. For she is the provider of our salvation, having given birth unto the Word, the Redeemer of the world. Unto whom we cry, O all ye works, praise ye the Lord. Christ, the chief cornerstone and caught by human hands, who united the two disparate natures, was caught from thee, the unquoted mountain, O Virgin. Wherefore, in gladness, we magnify thee, O Theotokos. O holy great martyr Demetrius, pray to God for us. Break the bones of the offences of them that praise thee, O prize winner. Make the passions of souls to cease. Still the storms of heresies and calm the sudden tempest of temptations by thy intercession. O holy great martyr Demetrius, pray to God for us. Guide thy sacred flock of the straight path to the heavenly kingdom, to the pasture of salvation and the eternal land. O crowned martyr Demetrius, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Believing thee to be the root, the fountain, and cause of incorruption, O Virgin, we the faithful all honour thee with hymns of praise, for thou hast made the antipostatic immortality to gush forth unto us. Martyr of Christ, Demetrius, as by God's grace aforetime, thou didst destroy Leia's scorn, his brutish pride and vaunting, and in the stadium gavest strength to the valiant Nestor, by the great power of the cross, O victorious athlete, so also now, ever strengthen me by thine intercessions. Against the demon's treachery and so corrupting passion. We 
wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, and the prayers of his holy and all pure Mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and life-giving cross of the Lord and of the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ron and Moluag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy great martyr Demetrius, the most streamer of Thessalonica, with the prayers of Saint Chad and all those with them whose memory we keep this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim, and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good, and he loves mankind. Amen. The prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.